Hello everybody and welcome back to Survivor Challenge Multiplayer. So, I did just have to sell the pallet fork so that we can fund the chainsaw. We're going to buy it again in just a minute. Luckily it had barely depreciated. We lost maybe £100. Uh, so yeah, the plan is to get a chainsaw so we can cut down trees, cut up a few logs that we can lift by hand, they'll only be very small, put them into our trailer, sell them, get the money, then buy the pallet fork again, then we can load bigger logs into the trailer and make even more money. So that is the plan initially. Uh, we probably will be able to put the tractor on a worker, uh, the bigger tractor, doing the weeding in our so no, it must be sorghum, our sorghum crop, uh, the one which is just over here at the top, looking pretty good. So yes, we didn't quite manage to get all the fertilizer onto there because we ran out of money, but we do have it mostly fertilized. And yeah, we do have the weeds which have germinated, so we can start to get rid of some of those. We can't get rid of them all because there are the different stages of weeds, but we can thin them out. We would have to use a hoe, I think, to actually get rid of all of them, or spray them. Eventually we'll be able to get a sprayer with herbicide. As mentioned in the previous episode, as soon as we have the money, we will actually start to construct a yard. But for now, we've got to really focus on the bare minimum. And even just having a simple yard, just a bit of gravel, is not the bare minimum. Because we have started totally from scratch. So, yes, we have the trailer already. We'll get that attached. I'll make sure I can afford a chainsaw before the worker starts. Because the worker will likely consume the rest of our money. Uh, there we go. And, yeah, as soon as we can basically get logs to the sell point, we'll be fine because the money will be coming back in again. So let's put this onto the weeder, just over here. And because of the way I've laid out the field, the worker really shouldn't have any problems at all. There's no excuses for not realizing the boundaries of the field. It has to know where they are. So it should be so simple. Should be. Uh, it never is. It's never simple for these workers. So we'll just let it start and get it done. Uh, we should probably start for... Oh, that tree's going to be a problem for it. We could cut that down, though. Shall we start? I think we'll probably start at this end. I have absolutely no idea why that piece didn't get drilled. That's just weird. That must be where we ran out of fertilizer, I guess. Okay, so we should see a bit of a difference. The weeds aren't very big, though, so you can't really see too much. Yeah, you really can't see much at all, but it should be making a difference. Yeah, you can see it's on there. I will, of course, keep checking to make sure it's actually working well. We'll actually start over here. We'll thin the trees out to make it even easier for it. Also, these logs will be easier to pick up by hand. They're not going to be worth much, but I'm hoping to get some bigger ones in a minute. As soon as we can afford to get our pallet fort back. And hopefully this never happens again, where we have to sell something to fund something else. Okay, yeah, so this is so small, we should be able to pick it up. Super strength isn't running. Um, I saw somebody say that Chainsaw was using super strength, but that's not possible. They must have just been these smaller logs, I guess. Because super strength definitely is not on the server. And yeah, I also saw a comment saying if you cut them to about 6 meters, that is the perfect length for money. Uh, 6 meters is not really in half. But it can't be too long. Oh, okay. That was bad. I won't do that again. So we'll start small, and then we'll go for some much bigger trees very, very soon. I think these really small ones, we should just keep as they are. Doesn't really achieve much cutting the end off.
the weeder is absolutely flying over the field and as you can see it is actually killing off all the weeds so they don't seem to be as progressed with that field which is really good now this trailer can be reconfigured to a bale trailer but I, I think it still has size it just drops one side down um, it can also have a reduced capacity which would actually get rid of those wooden boards which will probably make it easier for wood uh, it's not the ideal trailer at all for wood but we've just got to make use of what we've got and I know this is nowhere near fully loaded I'm trying to keep the good logs for when we can pick them up with the pallet fork which should be in a minute I would like to think that we have over a thousand pounds worth of wood here uh, but that might be wishful thinking because these are not the biggest pieces also I can see why somebody said that Chainsaw was using super strength I think they've increased the lifting capacity in multiplayer you can't pick up all the big ones but you can definitely pick up more weight than you can do in single player now we can sell here if we had £20,000 we could actually buy our own sawmill it's a huge building but it's not expensive so that's something we'll probably have to get eventually um, I thought that this was actually the sell point for wood maybe it's over here somewhere ok we just have to press that button uh, so we did, we, we got enough money brilliant, we can get our pallet for back that's so nice to see. Although maybe we don't want to go for a pallet fork. Maybe we want to have a uh, a fork, a log fork. Okay, that's three thousand pounds. But what about the MX? What do we have for MX? They are still more expensive. But these are all things that we can work towards. We can just use the pallet fork to begin with. We have to go for the Euro attachment. Now I will put the trailer into the uh, workshop to at least, at the very least, remove the boards. If it's free to go to a bale trailer, then I might do that, but as I said, it might not be the perfect configuration if all it does is drop a side down. Okay, so we can go to that. If we wanted to have the bale trailer, which just drops the side down, it'd be another £50, so I think we'll just go with the reduced capacity. That'll make it easier, at least. So, let's get the pallet fork attached, and let's start putting big logs into the trailer. We already have the uh, the weight, the rear weight. We paid for a concrete block, which came in the trash pack. It's really nice, actually. It's basic, but that's all it needs to be. It's just ballast. It doesn't need to look super pretty, although it doesn't look too bad. Oh, before we go, let me grab some diesel. It's going to be worth not running out. That would be embarrassing. It should be really cheap for this tractor. It's only small, that's why I like it, that's why it's worth having. Yep, so almost a full tank for just £51. Probably £60 for a full tank. That's what we like. like. There were some people saying you bought completely the wrong tractor. I completely disagree. Uh, we need both. We couldn't do with just this tractor. But I've managed to get a cheap front loader setup for this one. This tractor was cheap in the first place. It's cheap to run. It can pull smaller machines like this trailer. Uh, it, it is worth having. Now I know I'm behind Chainsaw, but I still strongly disagree with some of the negative comments I've had. Also, not forgetting that we actually do have the worker going at the same time that I'm doing stuff, which we wouldn't be able to do if I'd only bought that tractor over there. So I'm going to take the trailer off over here, where I've already cut some trees down. Then I will put my weight on, which I should have put over there somewhere, and then we can try and get them in the trailer. It's not going to be super easy without a grab, but I suppose I could try and push them up against the tree to get them onto the fork, or maybe they'll behave, maybe they'll just slip underneath, maybe the fork will slip underneath, and we'll just be able to load them up. Let's put the trailer about there, oops, caught it in time.
I bet you thought you'd seen it all. But we're having to cart with the combine so it doesn't tip over. Or oh, please don't fall out. Oh. Uh, well, we just need straps, basically. Oh, nice. And the biggest one is still on the ground. Gonna have to somehow get that into the trigger. Yeah, so maybe if we reconfigure it to the bell trailer, after all, it would give us straps. That's probably what the £50 is for. Yeah, so if I get that wedge on the trailer, maybe we can sort of drag it. No, not quite. That's it. Keep coming. Yeah, that should do. Lovely. Right, £2,500. The wood is definitely where the money is. That's going to be really good. Um... I'm holding off drilling more fields because I think what it, it would be nice to do really is get the harvest done in those two fields that we've done, then buy a silage pit, cut all that grass, get some fermented silage, then plough it up and get another crop out of it. So I am hoping that just by putting this into here we're going to get straps, although maybe I should check some other trailers first. You see they're all out of our price range, we can't rent. No, we'll just have to hope for the straps. I would like to get this as soon as possible, though, and then we can get a lorry. Just an older, low-cost lorry. Where's the button? Where's the button? There's the button. Customize. Bow tray. I can only think that that gives us straps. It does. Lovely. Okay, well, that changes everything, because that's my biggest problem there, not being able to strap. It doesn't matter if the trailer wants to tip backwards because we can just keep it permanently attached to a tractor or a combine as it happens, but no, <laughs> the other tractor should have finished by now. I don't know if that weed is overlapping, it seems to be taking an extremely long time. It's a pretty good working width and yet it still takes forever. So whilst we wait for it, I can prepare more logs. Uh, now that we have the straps and we have the ability to carry more weight um, without them falling off, we can definitely just go for really big ones. Spindle bits are inevitable, but we don't have to cut them as short. We can just strap them to the top of all the good ones. So this next load is going to be really good. It's going to be stacked up high and we'll tow it with the tractor over there, which is currently working. So I'll just now spend my time cutting these to roughly six meters. It's really hard actually to gauge six meters in the game. Sort of that sort of length, I guess. And then we can just scoop them up with the pallet fork. Can I, It'd be nice if I can pick up the third piece. I suppose it'd be the fourth piece. Yeah, and they just want to be somewhere visible on a bare piece of ground. There we go. So yeah, hopefully now we can make some proper money. It's taken us a while to get here, but we're now here. Finally managed to get this log onto the fork, so I better not drop it now. Uh, but the good news is the worker has finished weeding, meaning that field is now weed free. With no chemicals used at all. Yes, yeah, so I was hoping that would be a bit further up the trailer. <laughs> I'm gonna have to give it a push. Then it can be strapped and then we can keep loading on top of that. But I think we're, as we get higher we're gonna have to get logs which I can actually pick up by hand because it's gonna be way easier. Okay, so that's pushed up there. Uh, this load should be worth so much. If I 
keep strapping as we go. We don't run the risk of losing any and resetting what we've already done. Because that's what get that's what gets really, really frustrating in this game. If you spend a lot of time doing something, and then you lose it all. It's like when you put a lot of work into editing a video and then you forget to save and the software crashes or you get a power cut. We do not want that to happen. But yeah, we'll invest in an MX Grab, I think, as soon as we have the money, plus a better, well not a better one, this is a good trailer, but a logging trailer. A bigger one. As soon as we have that money. Okay, oh, 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 where do you think you're going? You can stay there. Almost lost one. So I will continue getting these onto the trailer. Should have a few thousand pounds worth here. I wonder if I can pick up this one by hand. Nope. It's good in a way that we can't pick up some of these bigger ones because it means that there's going to be plenty of wood in them. But maybe it would be easier just to cut it in half and pick it up by hand. Maybe it would. We definitely need the tractor and front loader for the big ones. But as for these ones, I think it's probably going to be better if we just do it by hand. It's those really big ones that we want to get the most out of. These ones just want to be loaded up. Okay, well, I will continue once again. We'll get a load more onto here. Just keep stacking until we can't stack it anymore. Uh, they can wait. We've still got these. Uh, I should be able to pick up that end one with the tractor. Yeah, you can really use gravity in your favour by trying to pick it up going uphill because it rolls onto the fork. Really works well. It's almost impossible to get one onto the fork whilst going downhill. Uh, if that would just catch the ground, it'd be great. Oh, good, it did. Just to slide it on a bit further. Right, so I think we're getting to the stage now where that trailer is looking quite full. Uh, I am trying to get as much on as possible. We want to have a really impressive payment. The problem is I keep strapping with the fork in and it gets stuck. But that is it. It looks like a sculpture of some form. Uh, it's not exactly neat. But then we do have sides on, so it's not really easy. Okay, this is still too big to pick up. Yeah, I don't know if Chainsaw has a front loader or anything. I don't know if he's loaded any of the big ones with a machine or if he's had to cut them all up into small pieces also if anybody knows I've been looking into the settings for this game and I can't see anywhere a setting for motion blur but I keep getting like a blur effect especially on animals when they're moving but I just saw it when I walked past this tractor it sort of blurred the uh, the model but I can't see anything. I can't in, in advanced. I can't see anything that says motion blur or anything like that. But I just don't remember it from before, and I, I don't really like it at all. So, if it's possible to turn it off, it's probably under a different name. Then that would be really nice. So, if anybody does know, any help would be much appreciated. Okay. So I think everything which I've cut is now on board, 
Except for this, of course, which has just fallen off. You naughty log. Come on, log. There we go. Right, that is quite spectacular. That's a really impressive load. Now I just need to make sure I don't tip it over. Luckily, there's no sharp bends or anything. And it's pretty flat. So I really should be alright. Uh, but yeah, it still looks pretty spectacular. It is nice to be able to drive at 27 miles per hour. I don't regret getting either of these two tractors or the combine. The combine was really necessary because I would have just run out of money and then I wouldn't have been able to harvest, which would have been terrible. Oh look, it's already a customer. So Chancellor's been pulling logs with his blade. Okay, let's get that into the trigger and we shall get them sold. So what are we thinking? I'm thinking positively. £10,000. Ah, oh, well, still very good. And we did get 10000 in the bank. £8,099. This is still a huge step in the right direction. I don't suppose that opens up any possibilities for trailers. But it does keep us away from having an empty bank account. The other thing it does is give me the option of buying a log fork. It would be so nice to have a grapple. That looks more appropriate, actually, over this grapple. This is more like for sinking into loose material, compost, and manure, and that sort of stuff. Um, yeah, so if we could go with that, which we can do, that would be really beneficial. We have to buy new. It looks like there's very little, actually, in the used machinery. So, yeah, that's great. So as we do have the ability to now pick up logs with ease, we can go right to the back of our boundary, which is about here, and we can choose some big trees. Right, they're the big ones, the super big ones. I, yeah, that's outside of our boundary. Um, oh, this one's big. Is that our tree? Should be. Yep. Very good, that's right on the boundary. So, um, yes, let's cut this up into manageable sizes, and then we should have no issue now picking them up. It gets more and more fun as we go. Having the right tools makes all the difference. Look at the size of this tree. So, I don't know if we're going to be doing logging next time. I really want to start grass cutting and putting it into a silage pit. Here's our spindly bit. Just cut off there. And yeah, we want to make sure these are about six meters each. So that one about there. We're left with 14 meters, so we want to be, well, not, not half. I'm gonna to have to do it into thirds. Probably get about there. <laughs> that was about half, actually. Oh well. Not to worry. I just move one of these pieces. I should be able to. Oh, it's too heavy. Wow. Yeah, move that piece. That's still too heavy. Okay, well, we should be able to pick them up. Let me go and get the appropriate attachment. And I'll see you back here for loading up. I think for now we'll just put the pallet fork near the tent so that I don't lose it. It's a good tent. This is where we live. So if I keep this right up against the tent, I should never lose it. Yeah, we have everything here to survive. Food. We even have radio. Gas. Lights. It's great. It's really great. But one day, we'll have a big, big farm with a house and everything. Oh, just running over my weeder. Right, it's a bit of a drive and we can't reset, so I will just see you when we're over there. Oh, I should have thought about that. I should have not brought the weight, then I could have brought the 
forage wagon back with us. That looks big. That looks really chunky. Well made. So yeah, shouldn't have any problem using it, hopefully. Should be able to pick up those logs with ease. What an upgrade. And yeah, the first field that we harvest will of course be the oat field. So we'll have some straw. We'll use the loading wagon to pick up the straw. We can sell that. And the price actually should be at its best when it's time to harvest. I think the harvest for that field is going to be about December time, December, January, which is the best time, amazingly, for selling not only the straw, but the oats as well. Let's just see here. Yep, that's going to work out so well. Ooh, I have more money than chainsaw. That's a rare sight. We shall take note of this moment in history. And soon it will be even more. This is so good, I like this. This is going to be a good load of wood. I should have really squared myself up with the, with the log though. <laughs> that would have been so much easier. Okay, let's try again. Let's actually align ourselves. That should work a lot better. Is that fully open? There we go. Okay, perfect. Can we lift it? Oh wow, that must be heavy. Blimey. Oh, we've managed to pick up those. I suppose, yeah, the, the attachment itself must be a bit heavier. Uh, so we'll just have to take some weight off, unfortunately. It is 8.2 metres, so it is actually too big anyway. 6 is the best. And that is 6.4. And that is still too heavy. Has it really made that much of a difference? I suppose the diameter of this is much larger than those other trees. significantly larger. Why is there always something to get in my way? Uh, well, it looks like we're just going to have to go smaller. There's nothing we can really do about it. Obviously it's nice to have the optimum length, which is 6 metres, but we'll have to work towards it. We can have 6 metres though for the smaller trees, so it's just the big tree. This is really big. It's huge. The size of it, we can only just get the grapple around it. Oh my goodness. What's this tree been eating? Well, I actually have a plan, and that is to attach the cultivator instead, because I believe the cultivator is way heavier than the weight. But yeah, this grab is heavy. It is very heavy. That's what's doing it, I think. It's nice. But because it is so well built and so chunky, it makes the overall machine a lot lighter on the back. But with this great big cultivator, we should have the weight required. Okay, here we go. Uh, is that worse or is that better? Oh, 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 we're in. That's all that matters. It is better, marginally. So it must be about 700 kilograms, I guess. Come on, log. You've had your fun now. Don't you want to go to the sawmill to be sliced into a million pieces? There we go. That's all we needed to do. <laughs> uh, that. Now I'm angry. Okay, well, we've got the log sort of in again. This is enough to give anybody a headache. Uh, right, you stay in, Log. You have caused a lot of trouble. Stay. Let me nudge it at the front. Please do not fall out. I want to be able to strap it. Perfect. Right, quick, strap it before it jumps out. Now the fun's over, we can hopefully get the rest of them in. Then we can sell this nightmare tree for hopefully a lot of money.
and there we have it the entire tree that massive tree all on the trailer now this is running a huge risk of tipping it over because I've got them all <laughs> pretty much on one side because that's just the way it ended up um, so I'm just going to have to drive carefully which will still end up being much faster than trying to upright it which will probably be impossible but in a minute we're going to see if it all pays off I think it is going to be worth it I think once we're out of the woods <laughs> we'll be alright yes quite literally there we go wow that really does look unstable but it just goes to show how handy the straps are we couldn't have done anything like this without the straps. Look at this megalog, that thing is massive. It got a bit wobbly coming up here, but we're alright. We're in. So, 10,000 this time. It's got to be 10,000. What? I'm left bitterly disappointed. Although it's still 5,500 pounds. <laughs> uh, but we do have tw oh, almost 13,000. Yes, almost 13,000. Um, so not bad it would be nice if it was more really I want to get going with the harvest because that's going to be really good that's going to bring in a lot of money for us um, but I think yeah next time we'll focus if we're going to do wood on the sort of medium sized trees they seem to be the best they're the least painful and they do generate quite a bit of money I suppose the reason why that was not so good is because we had to cut them to less than 6 metres so it looks like large diameter but shorter it's not as good as the sort of medium diameter and six meters so that's what we'll target okay well at least we're finishing in a better position than the previous episode not bad thanks for watching and i'll see you again soon bye for now